Hi, my name is Gilsi Mary Gilbert. It's quite long. You can call me Gilsi. My topic is uh, ignite your passion for life. You all know what passion is, right? It's a desire you fall for and uh, something which you really need in your life. So when it comes to life, you need a life to complete your passion, right? So I am basically trying to connect the relation between life and passion. So I'll be completely explaining about what passion is stopping you and everything which is in life. So life is a game according to me. So, I'm sorry. So life, it's a game. You don't have a replay. You don't have uh, anything which is, you won't know what is going to happen in before, right? So that is life exactly. Live your life to the fullest. Do not waste it for anyone. If any obstacle stop you, make sure you cross it. Nothing will, nothing should actually stop you. So in, when I come to obstacles, what exactly is obstacles? Obstacles, according to me, it is something uh, like fear. Exactly what all of us will be having. If you're a human being, you'll obviously have fear. The next is love, which will obviously stop every one of you. Then it is a family bonding that uh, it happens for everyone. Next, it is problems. And all of us have mistake, and we will tend to make mistake. No one is idle. If you're a human being, you'll obviously have mistake. So fear. Fear, according to me, is something which pulls on to your confidence level. For example, now I'm addressing myself to you people. By chance, I make a mistake. I have this fear that will you guys laugh at me? Walk at me. But please bothered, OK? Fear has two terms. Face everything and rise. I repeat, face everything and rise. Otherwise, forget everything and run. The choice is completely yours. Why should anything bother you? You be you, no matter what happens. So next topic, which I'll be saying, every one of us are familiar with it. It is nothing other than love. You know what love is? I can see some people blushing when I say love. So love, it is exactly a feeling for someone or something. So love might stop you. It is an obsession. It might take you to any place, but at the same point, when that breaks you, it will put you in depression. It will even tend to make you commit suicide. Leave the fact of committing suicide, but at that point, you will even tend to kill others. Why are you killing others? Why are you committing suicide and wasting your own life? There are people around you are even more bothered. So when I say people around you, it's family. Family, no matter how big we are, we're always kids to our parents. They always underestimate us. You say to your parent, I want to follow the sports stream. They'll say, your sports is no way going to give you money. Go to some field which is giving you money. Money is necessary. If you think money is necessary, then I would say even passion is very much necessary. You cannot eat or drink money, right? But passion will make you reach some place in your life. So please follow your passion. Don't run behind money. So after family, it is problems. Every one of us have problems, no matter what your age is. You ask a small kid, do you have problem? She'll be like, I have hell a lot of problems, maybe thousands of problems. Ask her to spell thousand. Probably she won't know the spelling. If you're a kid, you have a lot of homeworks. If you are a teenager, you have a boyfriend, girlfriend problem. Thinking, oh my god, who is she with? Where is he? Who is he roaming with? All those sorts of hectic things in your head. Next, family. But uh, before coming to family, all of us tend to make mistakes, right? As I already told, mistake, you cannot undo your mistake. It is something which you can learn from your mistake. Never repeat your mistake. If you don't make a mistake, you're an idle person. So far, I haven't seen any idle person in my life. We all will have to learn from a mistake. Always find a solution for your mistake. Do not be afraid of your mistakes. That's what I will say, because I've learned from all the mistakes that I've done in my life. So next, how can you get your passion? You smile at someone, they really smile at you back. So passion is something like that. You inspire someone else, they'll inspire you back. So communicate with the community. If you're with a huge crowd, you feel they are strangers. Even though go talk, everyone are strangers in the beginning. So later, it is imagine your future. So you all of us know Abdul Kalam sir, right? He always asked us to dream. So if you want to become a CEO, think that you're in that position and dream of that position. Next is serve others. Atiti Devo Bhava. You're really happy when you serve others, right? Similarly, inspire other people with your passion. For sure, they'll inspire you. That's what I have learned. 
then be still. Meditation actually works. If you feel meditation is boring, then have a conversation with God. God will really help you in all your times. Next it is enjoy the journey. Don't be a robot. Please be a human being. Don't work from morning 9 till 5. Always enjoy your life. Go on a holiday trip. It will make you feel better. If you feel you want to end your life, just look at them, okay? He's my favorite, Nick Wojcik. He doesn't have limbs like any one of us. You think uh, to swim you need limbs, so, but he doesn't have any of it, right? But still he swims well, he surfs, and he's a very good evangelist in spite of every bullying things which he has meant and which he has gone through in his life. He's one inspirational person for me. I think everyone should learn something from him. Next, it is Oscar Pistorius. You can see he has prosthetics legs, right? So he is, his legs were amputated when he was just 11 month old baby, but his urge towards sports and speed did not stop him. So he started to run. He made a world record, which no one has so far bet the record. His, he had a lot of people saying, you have an artificial leg, so you cannot run. But even though in spite of everything, he came to a position, and so far, he is the best in the athletic field. Next, it is uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, sir. He always, he's always a hero for all of us. He asked us to bunk classes, enjoy, follow your dreams. But he always asked us to be an eagle. If something stops you, don't take a shelter, don't run away, but fly above it. That's what he told, fly above it, be an eagle in the cloud which is coming with the rain. So he is always a living legend for each and every one of us present here. It is a dream for everyone to meet him, but actually it's quite late. So next, uh, how, why is passion necessary? Present generation, you can get anything anywhere. So passion is not something which you get from a book or from a shop. It is something which is inside us. We are a dusty room. We search for a lamp. That is how you discover your passion. You pour the oil in it. That is your potential. You plant a tree, it is going to give you fruit. That fruit will fill your stomach each and every day of your life. That's what I'm saying you. Passion is a fruit tree. Next. How do you build it? There's nothing to be built. You remember the lamp I just told? Just take a matchstick and light the lamp. That is exactly your passion. The light given by the lamp is even more beautiful when it is compared to all these headlights, according to me. So passion starts with many tiny steps. If you're good at video gaming, just play it continuously. You might even you know, be a big personality with that. Collecting weird stuff, making wonders out of face. Everything is actually some way or the other related to passion. So when I say passion, everything, what I told might be silly for you. I'll say you one example, go to some corner of the world and then look at the sky. I'm so sure you'll find a star in the sky. That is exactly a passion. For example, if your mobile phone is your passion, you can switch it off, you can vol reduce the volume, you can never live without your mobile phone. So that is exactly passion. Get addicted to things which are actually necessary in life, not to the unwanted things which I've all told in this slide. So there are lots of things to get addicted to. Happiness is one good thing. So next, when you face continuous failures in your life, and you feel like, I'm not going to try, this is my end, I'm stopping it, then just look at him. He doesn't have a normal life like every one of us have, right? But look at his smile, okay? He, ha he smiles it from, from the bottom of his heart. He doesn't know what is going to happen to him next. In spite of people uh, bullying him or keeping him away from the society, he still has that smile. He has a hope in life. So when it comes to the fact of hope, what I'm trying to say is this girl, she knows she is going to die within a week or so because she's suffering from cancer. But still look at the things surrounded by her. She is indulging herself in something which is making her constantly happy. and. Uh, it is not making her feel bad. Even she knows that she's, her life is going to end, but even then, she's always having that smile and a spark to learn something new. So we need not actually end our life. It's just a bad day, not a bad life. That's what I'm trying to say. So next, I have personally started a journey. I'm not trying to stop this journey. I have kept my first step in my journey. I want all of you to come with me and be the next steps in my journey. I have, I'm planning, I have started to inspire people from my own life. So I want all of you to join with me, maybe be the next steps in an individual journey. This is something which all of us need to do in our life, okay? So when everyone come to this world as a mold, but life at some point, it will turn you into a personality. And I think I've reached such a point because life has taught me a lot of lessons. So I would like to end my speech here. I hope I kind of reached all of you. Thank you.
your mary gilsi gilsi mary gilsi mary okay your um, speech was very nice Thank very you. good uh, i just wanted to ask you um, is passion and goal different or it's the same so it is different when you have when you when it comes to the fact of money you have a goal right uh, you need to cause so that is kind of you work you run behind it but passion is something which is made with love which is in no matter how much you do it in your life but at some point you that will come next to you you cannot live without it you might ignore it at every point but at some place you'll have to accept this is your passion so me personally if you ask me to go to a studying field or to this field, no matter what i'll get to the sports field even if i get a lot of benefits in studies so do you think there is a connection between uh, the goal and the passion uh, if uh, people are behind money and uh, if they think uh, making money will make take them anywhere then i would say there's connection between passion and goal yeah uh, uh, so uh, mary one thing is uh, for any goal you want to do uh, you might have what is your goal so mine is uh, to become an architect so i i didn't get i got a seat but i couldn't go so i thought uh, i'll start with what i have and i'll reach my passion ultimately so in order to achieve your goal you need to have that passion you i need to have a love for that thing in from inside of my heart okay so uh, any difference between passion and drive Pas- life and passion drive 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 um i kind of think both are same because something which uh, pushes you from inside is drive and something which comes from your heart that is also inside that is also passion and drive is same so-